to the Shops of Rock Island Fall Fest. This is our very first one and we're excited to have so many people out here to explore the shops and see all the activities going on. We have gift certificates, pumpkin carving, soup sampling, uh, author is signing a children's book, and we have a Celtic band at the Presbyterian Church this afternoon. We uh, have our state park has over 800,000 visitors a year, so it is a real jewel here at Rock Island, and we want everybody to come and visit our shops. In fact, we're also having our Christmas open houses the second week of November. So there'll be lots of activity that day also, and please come out and explore Rock Island. Welcome to another edition of Community Insider. Join us as we travel Middle Tennessee, uncovering history and experiencing the adventure of unique stories and events coming to you inside your community. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Community Insider. And with me is... Beth Campbell. And uh, she is the organizer of this wonderful event, the Fall Festival of the Shops of Rock Island. What kind of shops are here today and what can we expect for the Fall Festival? Well, we have uh, wonderful gift shops. We've got uh, Antique Mall, two of them. We've got uh, a wonderful gourmet food, uh, vegetable stand. Of course, the ice cream stand. We are having an uh, antique motorcycle show, antique car show, uh, and then the culmination this afternoon is the Celtic Band at the Rock Island Presbyterian Church. Fantastic. And so you're the organizer. What actually inspired you to uh, organize such a wonderful event? Well, uh, we have had a house here for 18 years and moved here permanently from Nashville about two and a half years ago. And this is, we just think this is a treasure and we want us to share it with everybody. And our state park has over 800,000 visitors a year. So why not showcase our wonderful part of Warren County? We discovered this probably around year 2000 and just love it and where we live right on the Rocky River and it's just been a, our family loves coming to Rock Island and uh, we love hiking and what the park has to offer and all the shops here are just so different and friendly and have a great uh, opportunity to showcase local talent so we are excited about what we're doing and we're looking forward to our November open houses, Christmas open houses. So we hope that your viewers will come back in second weekend of November to see our Christmas open houses. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and uh, sharing your gifts and talents with everyone. We're here at the Rock Island Emporium. Now what, do, what kind of gifts can they expect to see here? Well, we have uh, gourmet uh, soups, they're the all-natural dried uh, 
no preservatives, soft to sugar, uh, frontier soups, they're award winning soups. We have got all kinds of um, uh, wood carving that is just fabulous. And I'll have a gentleman that makes uh, tables, it's just pretty neat. Uh, just hair bows, aprons. Uh, Tell me about the photography right well, here behind us. Well, this is a local uh, or, uh, gal named Denise Herbert, and she lives here full time, and this is her photography, and it's fabulous photography. And so uh, everybody needs to take a little piece of her photography home with them. I agree. Yeah. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you're looking for a one-of-a-kind gift here, this is the place to find oh, it. it is. Now, Rock Island Emporium, it's one of the new shops of Rock Island. When did they actually open? They opened uh, the end of June. Okay. So she is very new. And the oldest shop here is uh, Rustic Touch. Okay. And then we have the Lazy Daisy, and then the ice cream uh, trolley, and then a new shop that opened in the spring is Mill Rock Farms, and they carry the gourmet vegetables, and they're delicious, they're great. And the Rock Island Station has been here a while, uh, and we have the depot, and then another new shop is uh, Brentwood Welder, and he makes fabulous uh, fire pits. So we have something out here for everybody, so this is a great spot to come.
Hi, I'm Seth Bowden. I'm Gage. We have a retail store in Rock Island, Tennessee. We have 36 vendors and four, four rooms up front. We are located in Rock Island, Tennessee. We're a retail store with over 4,400 square feet of vendor space. Today we're celebrating the Shops in Rock Island Fall Fest and we have a car show outside in the parking lot and we have a Christmas show coming up in November uh, 11 through 12. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Community Insider. I'm Tisha Everton and we're here at Walk Island Treasures. I'm Beverly Kleinard. And she is a cancer survivor. Uh, and they are actually raising money for cancer awareness. What's the name of the organization y'all are raising money for? We decided not to do an organization. We decided to donate the money to a local breast cancer survivor or someone that's still fighting. Because as a breast cancer survivor myself, I know that when you're going through treatments, surgeries, and so on, you know, you're missing work, time off work, and could use a little help financially. So we just want to help somebody that needs a little extra help. So y'all decided to do a car show today. Uh, what kind of cars do you believe that are here in the parking lot today? We have just a little bit of everything. Cars, trucks, we hope to have some motorcycles. We're just getting going, so. Fantastic. And uh, uh, do y'all have a name for the local charity that y'all are taking money up for? No, we're just going to do a drawing, like a raffle. Um, we've got some other prizes to give away, um, but the main prize will be the proceeds from the car show. So Fantastic. we'll uh, draw a ticket and draw the winners. All right.
here at the Shops of Rock Island for the Christmas Open House, the second weekend of November. Everybody will be decorated, they'll be in the Christmas spirit, and that is a perfect time to come and do Christmas shopping. Absolutely. And thank you so much, Beth, for organizing this, and we look forward to seeing you out here at the Shops of Rock Island, Tennessee. Today we're at the Rock Island State Park. It's at the Warren and White County line between McMinnville and Sparta. A lot to see here. You got some nice waterfalls and uh, some nice hiking trails. We're gonna take you and uh, show it to you. Good thing about uh, this one, you can see an impressive waterfall without even leaving your car. That is Twin Falls. We get a closer look at it, maybe go down in the gorge in a little while. So. Uh, Enjoy our hike here at Rock Island State Park. This is Twin Falls. Good thing about this, you can see it from the parking lot. If you're physically unable to get out and hike the trails, just pull up in the parking lot, look out the window, and you can see this beautiful, impressive waterfall. Twin Falls, here at Rock Island State Park. As we follow the downstream trail, we're in an area where the, uh, in the spring, the wildflowers are in abundance. This is a great place to come during uh, 
late March, month of April and May, a lot of beautiful spring wildflowers appear along the trail. Here's a little waterfall that empties into the Caney Fork River. Cool thing about that, it flows over a shallow cave. Of course, we're going to check that out. Here's a cool little cave that the waterfall flows over. And it comes out the other side. 